plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Hold tight and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Today we're going to look at how to fit single pillar bath taps. Um, and we're going to show you basically how to drill the holes, how to measure up and get them right, how to tighten up underneath and make it all watertight, and then do your quick water connections at the end with some flexible hoses. I hope you find this video insanely interesting and that you go away with an encyclopedic knowledge of baths and their taps. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. There's a dog downstairs. He's called Bruce. He's the dumbest dog I've ever met. The dog is a lad, a legend, a living beast. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get him up here at the end of the video and see what he thinks about these taps. I don't know how we're gonna rate what he thinks because obviously being a dog, he can't talk. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and remember that everyone's a whole Tight. Boom! So, this is the bath we're on about here. Now, always for a start, put your cold tap on the right hand side and your hot tap on the left hand side, obviously. Then you'd use a hole cutter, like a natural standard saw hole cutter, to cut two neat holes in and then you've actually got the positions then for your taps. So, let's have a look at how we do that now and it's going to be bloody great, I don't know. Right, so we've marked the centre line here. Now, I always actually use for this sort of thing a ruler, standard ruler. I wouldn't use a tape measure because I just think they're sometimes not very accurate. So, usually what I'll do is I'll put my taps about 20 apart. So, you'd be looking at one tap here and one tap here. So, I'll put that 10 just there. We'll mark all 20. And I'll mark I'll 10 just there like that. Now the next bit I'll do is measure in from the bath edge, okay? Don't measure in from the wall edge because sometimes these walls can be out. So always measure in from the bath edge. Now what I try to do is I'll just put my finger roughly where it needs to be and then just leave it like that and then you've got your edge there. Boom. Boom. So now we've got two crosses and that's where we're going to drill our holes for our bath. So you'll have a tap here like that and a tap here like that, and it'll look great. Now let's drill those holes. Before you start, make sure that the hole is going to be big enough for your tap, because you look like a right wally if you drilled a hole that was too small for it. And also make sure that it's no bigger than the collar on here, because you've got a rubber seal on here that needs to go on the upside of the bath. So you've got the bath there like that, and that'll create a watertight seal should there be any um, play in the bath and a lot of splashing. So um, let's uh, drill our holes now. Right, just get that resting on here nice and easy. And just start nice and slow, so you've got it in the right position. It's the bit I always hate when you go through. Just take it easy, there you go. Boom. There we go, one nice neat hole. And that will fit in there, nice and snug, just like that. Do the same on the other side. A little far around each one there. Now the good thing now is, if say you've measured these up and somehow maybe your drill walked or anything like that, you've got to remember, you still have quite a lot of collar on the bottom of your tap. So if you did get it slightly out by a minute or two and you thought it was out, you can use an angled semicircular file to actually you know, file a side away so you can shuffle it over a bit and make it look good. All right, before we carry on too far, and just get this all good clean now. Right, now we're ready to actually fix the taps to the bath. So we whip off this nut here, and then we're ready. Now remember we've got the cold, it goes in this right hand hole. Pop that down there like that, and then do the same on the other side. And then you go underneath to where your two taps are, get your nut, and then run that on. Once you've got that nipped up, you're gonna to need to use a tube spanner, and you're gonna to have to hold the tap on the top side so it's nice and straight where you want it, and then tighten up the nut underneath. You're gonna to wanna to do that to both taps, make sure they're nice and tight, but don't go mental, because then you could crack the bath and you'd look really, really stupid. So we hold the tap firmly, like so, and then get our tube spanner on the right part, and then tighten that right up. Do that to the hot and the cold. 
Now I've made a couple of these flexibles up. Unfortunately, we've only got 15 mil pipe under here. Usually a bath, you try and run in 22 mil, but the customer doesn't want us to strip all that back through their house, rip their floor balls up, rip their ceilings down to do it. So we have here, that's a three quarter connector to a 15 mil compression. And on the bottom of that, I've just popped on an isolation valve. Often you can actually get these with the isolation valves built in, but they didn't have any at the supplier. It's always good to put valves in wherever you possibly can, because if you've got any problems, you can isolate the problem without having to turn off the whole house system. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it under here, quickly measure it up, cut off or elongate whatever pipe we need to, and then fit these in. So let's do that now. So these two pipes are pretty much at the same sort of height. So if I offer up one of these to that, I can see it's easily gonna reach. So I'm gonna to need to cut a little bit off that pipe, and it's the same with the back one. So firstly, I'm just gonna wire this one on at the back. Make sure that when I'm tightening it up, the valve for the isolation valve faces you. You don't want it facing the opposite direction, otherwise someone will one day come here and try and turn that off and they won't be able to. What to do is pop that up there. Oh, that looks about right there. Pop our pipe slice on and cut that off. Always make sure as well that you turn the water off before doing this. <laughs> Open up the taps and let everything come out. That's off and then pop that on there like so. And then get your grips and hold the body of the valve firmly and then do that nut up and then that one's done. Right, so there we are. Both our pipes are nicely connected and watertight with any luck. Notice that I've turned both of the actual valves off. We're gonna turn all the water on in a minute and that'll give us the control we need when actually testing for leaks. Um, rather than you being downstairs, the valves open and leaks going everywhere while you're running up the stairs. So leave them off, turn the water back on and then come up, turn them on and test for leaks. Right, so let's turn these valves back on. Yeah, this other one. Quality. Right, so there we go. We've got some two beautifully working taps. They look gorgeous and lovely and shiny. Uh, I'm gonna clean up in here now and I've got vast amounts of uh, other stuff to do in this bathroom to finish off. I hope you've enjoyed today's plumberparts.co.uk video. I hope you've found it interesting and that has given you a bit of an insight into how to measure up these taps here and get them working nicely. If you want any more help or any more information, comment on this video or visit our website at plumberparts.co.uk. Remember that you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. We do loads there. And also remember that you can subscribe to our videos. There's loads. And if you ever need any help on anything in plumbing, just ask and we'll see if we can help you out. I look forward to seeing you in our next video, which is gonna be completely crazy. And uh, should we just have a quick look and see what Bruce thinks about all this? Yeah, let's do that now. Bruce, come on. Come on. Come on, Bruce, come on. Come on. Hey, hey, come on, let's have a look. Come on. Oh, Bruce. Bruce. I guess that means Bruce doesn't really like taps. I did learn a few days ago that he's also afraid of the hose. Anyway, um, well, I'll see you in the next video, guys. I'm really gutted about Bruce there, uh, really upsetting. I think he's well trained, he's not allowed upstairs, so. Anyway, I'll see you guys later, and remember everyone, hold tight throughout the night, and select her, and all that. Plumberparts.co.uk, honest reviews and advice.